Hello and welcome to this uh, lectures on electronics and optics. Today I will demonstrate how to calculate transmission and reflection for a wave incident normally upon an interface between two dielectric medium. The basic simulation setup for such type of experiments is already available on my channel. But don't bother, if you are new to my channel, for you here is a very brief and fast review of the basic simulation setup. Well, so this is the basic setup that already you know and now I am interested to keep the spanning of the source within the limit of the FDD boundary. So therefore, let's check what is the FDD Y boundary. So go to the geometry and FDD Y boundary is, uh, the spanning is 0 0.63. So I will go, it will be the Y spanning for the X will be 0 0.63. Uh, y, Y spanning for the, for the source. Now you can see the source is now confined within the boundary of the FDD and the injection axis as shown over here. The polarization of the electric fields is along this direction. Basically the polarization exists on the XY plane and the magnetic field is directed towards us or towards you. So now I am interested to calculate the transmittance and reflectance. So in order to get that I am going to click on the monitor tab and I'm going to put the frequency domain field and power because I want to observe the power transmittance and the power reflectance. Now I'm going to edit object, click on the geometry and linear Y and I'm going to put this one on the second medium because when the wave will be transmitted into the second medium, the wave will be recorded upon the length of the monitor. So what are the things the monitor is recording, data to record. So it is recording the output EX, output EY, EZ and HX, HY, AZ and the output power. So everything it's monitoring. I'm naming it as transmission. Similarly, a second monitor, power monitor I'm putting over there and going to edit object. Again, I'm putting the linear Y and it is also monitoring everything as the transmittance, transmission monitor is recording. Now I'm naming this one as reflection and I'm putting just behind the source and I'm dragging the source somewhat forward direction. So it will record the reflection and it will record the transmission. Well, so before going to start our simulation, let's see what will be the theoretical value of the transmission and reflection for the given refractive indices for the medium one and medium two. N1 is for medium 1 and that is 1.4 now n2 is equals to 2.4 now t the theoretical value of the t that will be 4 times n n1 times n2 divided by n1 plus n2 whole square and if you want to check what will be the value you have to put a question mark before the expression. So it will be 0 0.93. And similarly, for R that will be N1 minus N2 whole square divided by N1 plus N2 whole square. And I am interested to check the result. So it will be 0 0.6925. Anyway, so I will expect the result will be correct at least up to two decimal digit. Well, so these are the theoretical value. Now I'm going to simulate it. So before that, I obviously have to save it first. 
and I'm checking the memory requirement. What is the memory requirement? And it's taking only 142 KB for the electronic field and effective indices. And finally, all over the miscellaneous memory, it is taking only 82 MB. That's fine. Let's run it. Now let's check what is the transmission is coming. So you can right click on the transmission monitor and it will give you T. From there, you can see it is coming as 0 0.942. And the theoretical value is, you can see 0 0.930. Okay, it is slightly nine, it is slightly overestimating the value. Anyway, and corresponding reflection, it is visualizing, you can visualize as 0 0.569 or approximately 0, point, 0 0.0569, approximately 0 0.06. So, up to two decimal digit, it is uh, matching with the result. Okay. Now, uh, you can make this simulation more precise by adding additional meshes. One more thing you may observe that the reflections is coming as negative, but as we know, it is the power that is get, gets reflected, it cannot be negative. But this is actually this negative sign is not because of the negative power, this negative sign because of the placement of the reflection monitor which is just uh, in a, along the opposite direction of the uh, propagation of the wave. So obviously, in order to present the reflection, we have to make it positive. So here I'm going to, this is the first time I'm going to use the analysis step. So I'm going to over there and I place this analysis and the reflection, I just move it down. I'll so move into group. Now the reflection comes under the analysis group. Well, and Right now, I'm right clicking on the analysis group. Here, there is a two type of setup. One is a variable which you may define. That means these things I will discuss later. Right now, these are not necessary. And the second tab is the analysis under which the variables and the scripts. The script is very simple for this case. The variables, these are the parameters and these are the results. Means I want to observe the results. And in this case, uh, I'm adding that result is R sim. R sim is a simulated uh, reflections. You, uh, you may think that your simulation result will be assigned uh, to this particular variable. Now I'm going to the script tab and here I'm just writing that R sim is equals to transmission. Transmission is a function that the standard function of the numerical which works for the monitor power monitor and which upon which power monitor i am interested to apply this transmission function upon the uh, reflection so i'm clicking on that and in this quotation i write it's a reflection this transmission function will call the transmission function of the reflection as when you are clicking on the reflection and after uh, running this one when click on the reflection and if you want to visualize that so there are lots of variable that you can see and this t is a transmission function that you are calling from the analysis group using that function but this function will bring that negative value of the r or, or negative value of the transmission so this transmission function will call again the negative value of the transmission that already you have observed by right clicking on the reflection so therefore, in order to make it correct, you just need to place a negative sign and it will make it positive. So what is the workflow here on the analysis tab? You are just putting the variable to which you want to assign uh, the particular variable you are calling from any of the monitor. So in this case, you may call uh, the electric field, the magnetic field for them. There are different functions assigned. But in this case, I'm just calling the transmission property of the reflection. And this is this should be the monitor name. So transmission is a function and this will be the monitor name. Which monitor is a reflection monitor. Putting a negative sign, I'm making the negative result positive. So applying that and now I'm running on this one. Now as the run is completed, so you can visualize directly this T on the reflections and it will show you the negative value again. But in order to watch it in positive value, you have to right click on this analysis group and this run analysis. Now you can see this value, this value is positive. So right click on that you can visualize this one and it will show you the positive one. You can add additional meshes. So as I told, the, you can add the mesh from over here and 
I'm just placing the mesh over there and I'm interested over the interface. The default mesh setup is, as you can see, this is the default mesh setup. And I'm just unchecking the along the Y and Z direction only along the X direction because this direction is of my interest and I'm running. Now you can right click on that analysis group, run analysis and you will see 0 0.06. Previously, it was coming 0 0. Uh, 0.059, close to 0. Uh, 0.06, and right now it, is, it came 0. 0.06, which is exactly equals to the theoretical value up to two decimal digit. Okay, now let's see what is the transmission. The transmission is 0. 0.93, and it is also exactly to the uh, theoretical value up to two decimal digit. Well, so this is a basic setup for the normal incidence. And in my next tutorial, I will show you how to vary the angle and how to observe the bristers angle where the uh, reflection will be zero. Till then, thank you very much.